This is the Elemoto Dimension Adder and Subtractor. It was made by Ernest Grunliner. It shows up in advertising as early as 1948. It was a disc type fractional adder incorporating elements of a tranche device. In fact, Grunliner, whose first invention was a shoelace fastener, envisioned multiple devices, one of which would have incorporated a tranche adder right into the device and its final form settled on concentric rings, and he was granted a patent for that device in 1951. Yet it was the first patent number that made it onto the device. Maybe the reason for that is that the device was made after the second patent was filed, but before it was granted. This could mean that the Elemoto Adder has a manufacture start date as early as 1947. The Elemoto adder could add and subtract fractions of an inch. It had a max capacity of just under 10 feet. The Elemoto added by moving the holes on the right clockwise and by moving the holes on the left counterclockwise. The instructions have no drawings and at first seem complicated, but following the two sample problems teach you everything you need to know. My lovely assistant will demonstrate how it works. First, she'll add 5 sixteenths. Good. Then she'll add 11 30 seconds. Now she'll subtract 7 eighths. And you'll notice that the the, the hole for the seven eighths is in the red zone, so she has to go backwards. Perfect. Now she'll do some subtraction. First, she'll subtract five thirty seconds. Now she'll subtract one and a quarter. And if she's done it properly, the answer should be one eighth, which it is. Good job. As the device passes through the numbers, um, to the decimal equivalent of 3964, you can see two numbers that have a correction on them. And during manufacture, the decimal equivalents of those two fractions were transposed. Five screws allow me to take this cover off to reveal the inside. With no carry mechanism, it's, as, it's very simple interior. Here's the inside ring and the outside ring. You can see the spot here where the two numbers were corrected. And the reason I know that the two numbers were transposed is because if you flip it over, you'll see that they were printed on the back side, although there's no correction for the error on the back side. There is, however, this little horse guy, this little racer, and since it has a tab here, you can't flip it over to see the racer which is a shame. He'll be forever hidden. Clearing the device is a breeze, halfway. It has this clearing knob for the outside wheel. The inside wheel is not as easy. It has a little line there to indicate when it's reset. And you use it by turning it until it gets to the reset spot. The printing on the device is frustratingly blurry, as you can see from the numbers there. They're a little bit hard to read. The box didn't have blurry numbers, and the, discs, the disc numbers on the bottom, they don't have blurry numbers either. So that's a little bit of a frustration. There is one last annoyance. 
I admit this one's a bit nitpicky, but it speaks to the lack of attention to detail on a device that purportedly has precision down to a third of a millimeter. When you open your box for your elemental dimension adder, it's sideways. Elemoto appears to have been purchased by Kufel and Esser Company sometime in the late 1950s. My device has the Kufel and Esser name, evidence that it was made or at least sold after that time. That's the stylus sticking out the bottom there. Evidently, my device was purchased by someone with the initials CIL. Ernest Grunleiner led a double life as inventor and sales manager, selling another one of his inventions, the screw selector, until at least 1976. He had been making similar such devices since at least 1944. All you had to do was send him a check directly to the Elemento Sales Company, Department CN which was likely a spare bedroom of his suburban New Jersey house. You don't see too many of these devices today, and perhaps that's an indication that the men and women of the 1960s thought about as much of it as I think I probably would have. However, today, I'm thrilled to have an Elemoto Dimension Adder and Subtractor.